Aguilqueta. Loftus Cheek. First Chelsea goal. And the Blues should be safe. Get the kids in. He's in. And Loftus Cheek delivered. I love when you see him. Abramovich smiling. I think when one of these young kids comes in, Lost the sheep only 19. That's a great impact. Both fullbacks have been so important today. Ivanovic set up the first one. As for Laqueta, does so well. Just drags that back into such a dangerous area. It's so difficult for the Scunthorpe back four. Lost the cheek with a terrific run. Frank Lampard esque. And what a terrific finish as well. The near post from Luke Daniels. How cruel can football be? Howard Webb said that could have been a penalty, should have been a penalty. Chelsea go the other way. They make it 2-0. It looks like it could be game over. And just, obviously, it's Fulham tomorrow. Ruben mm -hmm. Loftus-Cheek is there. Are you keen to get him back next season? Does he have a role to play for you, do you think, at, at Chelsea? It's not decided yet. I was... Uh, I was uh quite a fan of him in his, uh, when he was even younger, he's still young, but when he was even younger and he came up from, from academy, I think, and into professional football here at Chelsea, he reminded us a little bit of in his style of play and his, uh, in his movements, uh, uh, reminded a bit of, of Michael Ballack. So um, there were some links about him all the time also with maybe a move to German league and, and stuff like that. So we were well aware of him and of his talent. Sometimes things, yeah, I, I don't know why things did not work out on maybe like he wished and everybody wished, but he is on loan now, he's doing good, leaving his footprints there and uh, it's absolutely not, it would absolutely be unfair and not fair if I judge him from, from TV and from, from hearsay, uh, what people say about him. Normally I, I love to, to work with players and give my opinion then. Um, Maybe also pretty quick, but uh, but from a from a direct uh, from a direct impression. This is what we don't have. I don't know what his idea is. I don't know what uh, exactly. Uh, honestly, what my opinion is and and what the club's opinion is. There's uh, no decision made yet. Big win. Have you caught your breath yet? <laughs> oh, only just. That was uh, yeah. Had no no rest at the end. It was just wave after wave uh credit to them the last last 15 20 was, was yeah like i said wave after wave of attack um and it wasn't it wasn't quick play it was just in the box throw-ins you know just whipping the ball in which is it's the hardest as well the stadium was erupting when you know every time they whip it in it's, it's so difficult and i, I think the people the, the guys at home don't feel feel the energy in the stadium, but it is very tough. So, no, fantastic from the boys to hold on. Uh, Eddie in goal, <laughs> he's he's he saved us a few times, but that's that's what these top keepers do. Uh, the the guys world class. Um, so yeah, I think on another day we we come away with you know a few more goals, um, but three points most importantly. Interesting speaking to the manager just now, and he referred to it as something similar to a cup tie. It did feel like an old school cup tie, didn't it? Times? Yeah, I mean, th th this is a team in form. Um, mm. You know, coming up and 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 playing with a lot of motiv motivation, um, and that's very hard to to match um, because they want to win every ball, you know, every every second ball, and you have to be up there with them. Uh, I think we did for 60, 75 minutes, uh, and then. Uh, we just had to deal with the, the onslaught of, of balls in the box, throw-ins in the box. Um, but yeah. Talk to us about your role, because you were, you were playing a bit deeper. You look really comfortable. How much did you enjoy it today? Oh, I'm enjoying all, all my time on the pitch. Like you said, it's not somewhere I've, I've played a lot in, in my career. Um, I'd say I started deep, but different managers, I've just moved up. Uh, number eight, number ten, winger, striker. Um, um, now back to, to deep. Um, it's where I've played a, a lot of my career uh, in the younger days, six or eight. So it's, it's, it's not something that's too foreign to me. Um, and like I say, anywhere I play, uh, especially in the midfield, is, is, is just fantastic. I love being back at this club. Um, I had full intentions of, of staying here after, after my Fulham, Fulham loan. Um, 
so yeah, really happy to play and, and help the team. Good to see you play 90 minutes, and you look like you, it's interesting because you're in a slightly deeper role. It's almost like you had a little bit more time on the ball at times. Yeah, at times. I mean, when when they press, it's it's, it's intense and it's it's very difficult. I have to use my body, be aware of what's around me. Uh, I think I'm quite good at that. So sometimes when they press like that and everyone's forward, sometimes I can beat the press uh, by myself, and it's just a big big advantage for the team if I, if I can do that and we've got an overload to, to go forward uh, so that's what I try to do as, as much as I can but it's a, it's a position where you have to be safe a lot of the time um, dictate the play it's, 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 it's hard sometimes because I want to I wanna <laughs> run with it a lot more but I had to be disciplined in this, in this role, only three or four times could, could run forward, pick the times um, but I, I enjoy it either way. It's clear the manager's got real faith in you, what does he say to you about your, your role in the team? Oh, he just said when, um, if I play this position, be strong, use my body, um, dominate physically uh, and, and just do, just do play how I play. Um, I think if you overthink stuff, um, things, things can, go, can go bad. I've played football all my, all my career, all my life, so it's just about just playing, not overthinking, just play football the way, the way you normally do. And, and have fun is the, is the main thing as well. I think we, we forget sometimes with, with all the pressure and having to win, we have to enjoy it as well. So, yeah. And finally, it is a long season, of course, but what does a performance and a hard-fought win like this do for confidence? No, uh, it's a lot of, a lot of confidence um, in the team that we're, we're able to withstand that kind of pressure in, in an away stadium in an, uh, mm -hmm. you know, against an informed team. Um, I think a lot of top teams have come here and, and not, not done well, um, which you know we, we did we didn't do well for 15 20 minutes. But the majority of the game we did we did very well, controlled the tempo, uh, dominated the game. So I think we can take some positives, um, but also we need to look at the last the last the last 20 minutes where we, I think we lost shape a bit and everything kind of just went went in panic mode. So uh, we move on. Uh, Champions League next. Most important question: How are you, and, and how are you feeling at the moment? Um, feeling good. Um, really happy to be back amongst amongst uh, the squad, and um, you know, in game day squads. Um, so um, I'm over the moon at the moment, even though the situation is not uh, not the best. Um, football's not what it is, what it's supposed to be at the minute. But um, yeah, I can't complain. I'm, I'm back. I'm fit and healthy. Uh, Happy. It's strange, isn't it? Like I said, football's very different at the moment. How does it affect you and your mentality with it being an empty stadium, no fans, and I guess the routines changing somewhat? Yeah, uh, the whole you know routine of going and training every day is very different. Um, you know, the things you know we we are grateful for, like the, the guys washing our kit for us. We now we're doing that. We're taking our boots home and washing it. Um, so everything is very different. Uh, obviously, social distancing coming into the play. Playing in these games has realised how, like, has made me realise how much the fans make the sport and how the fans can dictate a game as well. Um, because there was there were so many times against Aston Villa where you thought if the crowd got behind them in that period of the game, maybe <laughs> they'd add a bit of like boost to it, like boost to them and. They got after us a bit more, but um, yeah, no, it's made me really appreciate uh, the fans uh, and what they do. But. Tell us about that that Villa game then, the first one back after the restart, and when did you find out that you were going to be starting in that game? Just just the day before, um, the gaffer gave the team the day before, and uh, I was really excited, and I kind of went home and kind of reminisced how long I've been out and what I've been what I've been doing to get back to this point um, over the past 13 months. Um, so I was, I was really happy, really over the moon and obviously getting to, getting to start at Villa, um, fantastic. Um, I, didn't, I didn't play the best, I didn't impact the game how I wanted to, but I said to myself, I've been out so long, I, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be back on the pitch.
um, and, and then we can build from there. We'll come on to the mental side of things in a, in a minute, Ruben. But I guess when, when you are back for the first time, like you said, in 13 months, is that, that their aspect in the back of your mind thinking, how much do I go? Do I give 100%? Is there any sort of concern there at the time? Uh, for, for me, the concerns over my injury is, is completely gone. I feel completely strong and uh, strong in my body, strong in my uh, ankle, calf, um, and mentally as well. So that doesn't affect me um, on the pitch. In terms of in terms of my injury, that I would happily go and fly into a tackle. Interesting, you talk about that. 